Hey guys, we are back for another live in the OU tier today, and uh, we're going to be using a team that I made uh, a couple of days ago, actually. Uh, it's utilizing uh, Mega Metagross here. Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, uh, Bullet Punch, and Ice Punch. We've got a defensive Skarmory, Defogs Rocks Away, gets him back up itself. Uh, Brave Bird for things like Breloom and stuff, which the team, uh, I guess it handles alright, but once things get weakened, uh, this can come in and, uh, and Revenge Breloom. So we have uh, Rotom as well, standard defensive Rotom. Uh, we're running a little bit of Spidef, uh, and I can't remember why now, uh, but uh, we'll get to that eventually, I guess. Uh, Kong Kelder uh, with Drain Punch, uh, Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, and Poison Jab. Uh, Rock and Life Orb, Sheer Force, not Assault Vest. So uh, that's kind of why Rotom has a little bit of Spidef, and Skarmory is a Spidef wall as, as well, uh, because Kong Kelder can't take those hits that uh, those two. Uh, normally otherwise could have, um, or that this thing could have, actually. Uh, and then we have Mamoswine with uh, Earthquake, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and Knock Off. We are Choice Scarfed, which is uh, actually pretty good in this meta, uh, as you guys will see. And uh, Choice Banded, Victini, with uh, V-Create, Fusion Bolt, U-Turn, and uh, Hidden Power Ice. Great lead on a lot of things. Uh, Hidden Power Ice, because I don't believe you can com combine... Uh, is it Fusion Bolt uh, with Glaciate? So we're just rocking Hidden Power Ice for Landorus and, and Garchomp and such. So uh, we'll get right into it. We'll get a game and uh, we'll see how the team does. Uh, I've tested it out a couple of times. It's not too bad. We are a little bit higher on the ladder now, though. So uh, we actually get a team with two trappers on it. So that's going to be a little bit difficult for... Uh, well, I guess Rotom can handle them, okay? Um, I'm pretty safe to lead Victini other than the, uh, uh, other than the Duck Trio, but... Other than that, uh, Victini does pretty well. I do see him leading Deancey, though, so not necessarily the best play. Uh, what do I want to lead here? Uh, Metagross isn't bad. I kind of want to get up Rocks, though. Um, rocks are really going to help. But again, if, I, if I'm thinking he's going to lead with Deancey, then uh, maybe not the best idea. Uh, let's lead... I'll lead Rotom here. It has a pretty good matchup against the majority of his team. As we see, he leads Deancey here. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, fire off a Hydro Pump. He's probably just going to protect on the Mega Evolution. And here I'm just going to Volt Switch. I'll be able to get out on Celebi and stuff like that. And uh, in comes Celebi. There we go. We Volt Switch. And now nothing really wants to take a V Create. So I can either do that or go for U Turn, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. We are banded, so I think we should be able to knock out Celebi. Uh, with a U-turn, we'll see, but uh, I'm going to go for a U-turn here as he chooses to go back into Deancey. It's going to take that U-turn uh, just right back out into Rotom here, and uh, we'll Volt Switch again as he is faster, so uh, we'll get off the necessary damage. Celebi comes right back in, we're going to Volt Switch again, and here I think I'm just going to go for a V-Create and uh, put a lot of damage on anything, really, because uh, I can see him going into Skarm this time, so we are just going to V-Create. And we're going to knock out the Celebi. I guess he thought uh, that U-Turn uh, couldn't take him out. Getting rid of Celebi is a huge help, especially for uh, Conkeldur and stuff like that. So we just still need to weaken the Deancey, obviously. But we can go for another V-Create here. Earthquake is obviously going to take us out. And now what we can do is uh, either go Conk and uh, Drain Punch something, which is not a bad play. He's extremely weak to Conkeldur, uh, especially when I weaken Deancey a little bit more. We are packing the Thunder Punch, so we will be able to hit the Skarmory for super effective damage. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just go Conk. He is faster than me, so I am just going to fire off a Drain Punch here. If he wants to go into Skarmory, that's perfectly fine. We are going to get a pretty big hit off on this thing. That is going to be Crit. And uh, he is Rocky Helmet. But we can just go for a Thunder Punch here, and we should be able to... Uh, oh, he actually goes for Brave Bird. So the Rocky Helmet is going to end up taking us out here. A little unfortunate, but we still have Mamoswine. And uh, his Doug Trio still has its Sash, though. So... My play here is Rotom. Uh, it's better than anything right now as he chooses to go Magnazone. And here I can just fire off a Hydro Pump and either weaken his Rotom and uh, and pretty much put it in range of, uh, of anything. He goes for Hidden Power. That's not going to knock us out at all. I guess he predicted the uh, either the, the Rotom or the Metagross even. I guess the Metagross. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he was predicting there, but uh, now I can just go for another Hydro. And uh, we will be able to weaken his Bisharp uh, tremendously, actually, uh, to the point he has leftovers. Um, sh will Volt Switch take him out? I don't think so. It's about half of the damage of Hydro Pump. It's a little bit more powerful than that, but uh, 69, let's see, 37. Uh, it's half of 69 is about 34.5. Yeah, no, Volt Switch should do the job. He gets off a knockoff, not a big deal. 
Uh, I'm just going to go for Volt here. And I'm going to Volt Switch right out into my... Hmm. I think Metagross is the play, because if I get rid of Dugtrio, Sash, and then I just spam EQ and win the game. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Metagross. If he wants to go into zone, that's perfectly fine. Uh, he actually chooses to go Dougie, so we are just going to fire off a Bullet Punch here, because I don't know if he's banded. I don't want to risk him being banded, so uh, Bullet Punch is going to do the job. Earthquake's not even going to take us out, so uh, I'm just going to go for another Bullet here. And if he wants to switch into Magna Zone, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, we are Scarfed Mammoth Swine, as you can see. Its, uh, its implications are already coming in. Uh, and I do believe we are faster than Nug Trio, and uh, of course... So, uh, Sucker Punch won't be able to take us out, so uh, that's pretty much a good game right there. The Antsy does come in. I am going to go straight into Mamoswine and just start firing off some Earthquakes. Uh, his team is extremely weak to them, so uh, there we go. And at this point, he should realize that the game is over. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he does drop a GG, so there we go. Uh, we are picking up right where we left off yesterday, so now we are back up to... We fell to 1775, and I'll see uh, what my rating says here. Uh, let's see... 1794, so not bad at all. We're almost in the 1800s, which, which is great. I might even try to get up to top 10. Uh, maybe not with this team, because I did design it once again on the fly, as I usually do the rest of my teams. But this one's actually not too bad. Uh, it does, uh, puts in some work, especially with Victini. Nothing switches in on a V-Create comfortably. He had a Trapper there, and I had to go for V-Create at some point, so I lost my Victini early. But against any other team, I can just keep switching Victini out into the, the appropriate Pokémon. Uh, or out of Victini into the appropriate Pokemon, take a hit, and then come back with, in with it later and just fire off another V-Create. It destroys walls. Uh, so it's uh, it's really good. And Mamoswine picks up kills on faster Pokemon that would normally outspeed it, such as Latios and Latias. It can knock them out with knockoff after one Stealth Rock so we, uh, switch in. Uh, so uh, they synergize very well. And uh, I do have an Electric Community, of course, being Mamoswine, so... That's great. I, I needed a ground type and I also needed a nice type, so finding the two together was just perfect. Obviously, I'm using Conkelder and uh, Mamoswine, which are two lower tier Pokemon. Uh, Conkelder, which has, has just dropped into UU, uh, but I think it's still very viable in, uh, in OU. So this guy has a Meloetta, which is actually a big threat, um, if you didn't know, <laughs> and especially to this team. Um, what do I want to lead here? I uh, kind of want to just lead Victini. Maybe uh, throw out a... Uh, I pretty much outspeed everything barring the uh, the Gengar. Of course, if his Garchomp is defensive, which is which is what I'm expecting it to be. Uh, but once again, I actually think my best lead is Rotom here. Then again, he could lead Gardevoir, so that's a little bit threatening. Um, he has no Trapper to beat my Metagross, which is good. But he can switch into his Gengar uh, to revenge me. And I have no good switch into to Gengar at all. Uh, I think maybe that's why I put a little bit of split FEVs on Rotom was be, uh, to be able to take special hits like that, like Shadow Ball and stuff, uh, even when I'm weakened from Stealth Rocks and things. So uh, I am just going to lead with uh, Metagross here, and uh, as he leads Skarm, not the best matchup for us, but I can just uh, go straight into... I can either Mega Evolve and throw out an Ice Punch to break it sturdy, or I can go straight into Victini and then fire off a Hidden Power Ice predicting his Garchomp. Uh, which is what I think I'm going to do right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch directly into Victini. I'm going to keep my Metagross uh, healthy. I don't care if he gets up rocks. That's why I brought in Victini, actually, was just to, uh, to mitigate rocks right away. So I'm just going to throw out that Hidden Power Ice. Uh, we are going to break it sturdy with that. We are going to get a crit on there. Uh, as he's going to throw out a spike. And now he can either predict a Fire-type move and switch out into his Talon Flame, which wouldn't be a terrible play. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go directly into Skarmory here and be able to defog these hazards away. Uh, he's going to set up another layer of spikes, perfectly fine. He has nothing to trap me, so uh, he says Glaciate is better. I'm going to say I can't use it on this set. There we go. Can't. I don't know why my keyboard always that, does that. If you guys don't know, I'm from Montreal and my keyboard is French. So is the rest of my computer. You may have seen... Uh, uh, indications of that from previous videos. He actually is fast Skarm, so he's going to prevent our defog right there. As um, I'm just going to go in back into Rotom right here, uh, as he is going to get up the final layer of spikes. Uh, but I'm pretty free to Volt Switch on the majority of his team, and his Skarm didn't take that HP Ice too well, even with the crit. Uh, that is a neutral hit, so I'm, pre I'm thinking he is physically defensive. 
Uh, so I'm just going to throw out a Volt Switch here. He is going to taunt. That's not going to matter. We're going to be able to knock out the Skarmory with the Volt Switch. That was another crit, so we will never know what set it was. Um, if I go into Skarmory here, we are Spadef. So I should be able to take a hit from Gengar or even a Fire Blast from uh, Garchomp and get rid of these hazards. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I really, uh, these uh, rocks and, and spikes are a big hindrance, so... Let's see what he chooses to do here. If he goes Talon, uh, then I might switch. But he chooses to go Gengar instead. So I am just going to Defog. If he's Taunt as well, then we'll switch out. Uh, no problem. But I don't have a very good switch to this thing, so that's the that's the issue here. And I didn't get off my Mega Evolution with uh, Metagross, so I don't Speed Tie with him either. He's probably just going to throw out a Shadow Ball here. Uh, I don't really have, once again, a very good switch. I definitely want to keep Victini because, because it puts in a lot of work. Or maybe not, actually. Because uh, if his Garchomp is fast and his Talon Flame has Brave Bird, I speed tie with the Gardevoir, so I don't really want to risk that. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll go into Victini here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll sack Victini. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll let him get, uh, get the kill on us. That's perfectly fine. And um, what I can do here is I can actually go into Mamoswine, threaten out his Gengar. Um, he might not think I'm Scarfed. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Mamoswine, and I'm just going to go for the... I mean, do I have a reason not to Icicle Crash here? It should be able to take him out, and it hits everything on his team. If I miss, though, then I'm in a, in a, in a little bit of a bad situation. But I am just going to Icicle Crash. Uh, it's not going to take out the Gengar, actually. He's going to be able to, uh, to not knock us out with a Shadow Ball. And we'll be able to go for another Icicle Crash here. Taking out, hopefully, his last Taunter. <laughs> he could have Taunt on Talonflame or, uh, or Gardevoir. We actually missed the, uh, the Icicle Crash there, and he's able to get off a Destiny Bond. But that's perfectly fine. We can go for another one uh, as he Shadow Balls. And we miss both, but we have Metagross to Revenge and, uh, and knock it out with Bullet Punch. So I'm not too worried, and we do outspeed the rest of his team, barring maybe a fast Talon Flame. So I'm just going to go into Metagross and Bullet Punch here. Uh, as you can see, we only take 30% from the hazards, so I definitely still want to get rid of them because I think Conk still puts in a lot of work, barring the Talon Flame. Uh, there's Gardevoir too, so maybe not. Uh, maybe I don't need to actually. Now looking at it, I'm just going to go Rotom on his Talon Flame. I have no reason not to. Uh, as he throws off a U-turn, so he's going to be able to get into his Gardevoir here. Uh, that was a good play. We are going to see Meloetta, actually. So, not really sure why, but I uh, definitely need to keep this thing for Talonflame. Or else I might just lose to Banded Brave Bird. Uh, Banded Flare Blitz as well. So, hmm. I don't really have a choice, though. I kind of have to Volt Switch on this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to Volt. Because he's going to sub, which is awesome. Uh, we're not going to be able to break the sub, but we are going to be able to get in our Skarmory, and we are going to go for the Defog here. I'm tempted to get up rocks, but uh, getting rid of the hazards is much more important. He's going to go for Calm Mind, not a big deal. We are going to throw up the rocks. He does not have a Defogger or a Spinner, so uh, he can set up as much as he wants, but uh, Metagross outspeeds him now, and Echoed Voice does absolutely nothing. It's going to get stronger and stronger, of course, uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start whirlwinding him around. He's going to go for Echoed Voice again, it's going to do 23, but now his Meloetta is out of here without a sub, his Talonflame gets dragged in, and I am just going to go right back out into Rotom. If he chooses to U-turn, that's fine, he'll come back in at 1%, and then whatever recoil move he goes for uh, will kill him, so not a big issue. He is going to go into Gardevoir, which Metagross outspeeds, and at this point he pretty much knocks out everything, so uh, do I really have a reason to keep Rotom now? Uh, if Metagross's Bullet Punch takes this out, he'll take himself out to Recoil. I still kind of want to keep Rotom, um, to be perfectly honest. And as Conkelder does absolutely nothing for the rest of the game, I'm just going to sack it here to the Hyper Voice. As you can see, uh, he actually chooses to go for Focus Blast, so that's cool. We're going to get off a little more damage with this Mach Punch here. Uh, and I think that puts it in range of Metagross's Ice Punch, actually. Let me calc that really quickly. Um... Guard of War, Mega, Wall Breaker versus Metagross, All Out Attacker. Not this set, sorry. Metagross, Mega Metagross, All Out Attacker. And for some reason, Grass Knot is still on this set. 
And uh, we're going to add Ice Punch here. No, it does not, so we're going to be forced to go for a Meteor Mash and potentially hit a Rocky Helmet, uh, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid, but... Um, I definitely still need Skarmory to be able to keep the Meloetta out. Uh, let's just go Metagross, and we'll go for a Meteor Mash here. And if he wants to switch into his Garchomp, that's fine. Uh, we should be able to take two hits here. Actually, he's not... Uh, Hold on a second. Bullet Punch should be able to take him out. He's not Rocky Helmet. So we're going to be able to go for Bullet Punch here and take out his, his Garchomp. And Metagross should be able to put, put in the rest of the work for the game. Uh, if he goes Talon, then I just switch out into Rotom again. And if he actually isn't banded, then we're fine. Just go Rotom. And uh, if he wants to Brave Bird, then he's going to take himself out. And we are not going down. And then if he wants to go into Gardevoir, uh, Metagross just cleans up the game at this point. Uh, Meloetta comes in here, and uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to fire off some Hydro Pumps to keep him from subbing up on me. Or I can go Skarm directly. I can, I'm going to go Skarm directly, because he's sub call Mind Echoed Voice and something else, I don't know what. But um, yeah, I think I'm just going to... Do I Brave Bird here, or do I Whirlwind him out? I think I Brave Bird. I'm not going to waste time here. I'm just going to damage this thing, as that actually doesn't do too much. Which kind of scares me. Uh, we have no attack investment though, so Metagross can definitely still take him out. But I have to hit. That's the problem. So we are going to weaken this thing a little bit more. Uh, if uh, zero attack Skarmory's Brave Birds are only doing 23. Uh, Skarmory, especially defensive with no attack investment versus Meloetta. I want to see what kind of uh, uh, what kind of set it is. Probably just Sub Calm Mind, uh, which runs a lot of defense. Uh, let's see how much Brave Bird does. Should be about that. Brave Bird. Yeah, that's uh, that's about right, right? Uh, no, we're actually only doing 23 or 24, so that means he's max defense. Uh, so 252 uh, and bold, right? Yeah, that's about right. And uh, that also means that how much can Metagross do to it with an Ice Punch? Uh, give me your Ice Punch here. Once again, only 24, which means we definitely need to hit Meteor Mash on this thing. I'm um, just going to... Alternatively, I can just Whirlwind here and just get him out and then double Ice Punch. Yeah, I'm gonna Whirlwind. Forget about it. And uh, just get him out and he's gonna take 12% from Rocks on Switch In and we're just gonna go for Brave Bird here. And uh, if he wants to get cheeky and maybe like Taunt or something, then his, uh, his Gardevoir is gonna take even more damage. At this point, I just click Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash and, uh, and pretty much win. I can also click Ice Punch on the Melo Meloetta because it does break sub. So uh, he's going to go for Hyper Voice right there. I'm just going to go Metagross, and he's going to forfeit. So that's going to be another win for us. Let's see where we are where we are at on the ladder, and uh, potentially just get one more quick game. Hopefully quick. We are at 1807. So let's see where that is. 1807. Let's see. Let's see. We are 79th on the ladder. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, a couple more wins and. Uh, Actually, one more win, and I could potentially be up to roughly 57th, so not bad at all. Uh, let's close the ladder here, and we'll get one more. We'll try to make it quick. Uh, this guy does have a much fatter team. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to break through, especially because of the slow bro. I don't have too, too many good answers to that thing. I mean, Kong Helder can Thunder Punch it, Rotom can Volt Switch, and Victini can U-Turn, but that's about it. That's all I can do to him, so I don't have any way to set up more hazards than just Stealth Rocks. Uh, what I'm going to do here is lead with Conkelder. I think it's my best lead. Uh, it handles everything barring the Gliscor, because we're not packing Ice Punch. So hopefully uh, hopefully he leads with uh, either Heatran or Titar, uh, which he does, which is awesome. As uh, here, I can do one of two things. I can either predict his Gliscor to come in and go directly into Mamoswine and then do something about that. Or I can just throw off a, a Drain Punch and uh, engage the damage on his Gliscor. Uh, and I think that's what I'm going to do. As he chooses to actually go Slowbro, which is not bad at all, uh, he's going to take... What did he take here? Uh, uh, he is actually Mega Bro, I believe. Which makes sense, because he doesn't have any other Mega, mega on his team. Slowbro. OU Defensive versus Conkelder. Oh, you Sheer Force Attacker with Thunder Punch does 38 to 46. So actually, that's really good. I'm going to fire that off, and he's going to drop to 11%. He's going to go for a Calm Mine, 
bad play <laughs> because now he has to switch out and that means he switches out into a drain punch right here so we're gonna get damage off on something he can't mega evolve he'll go down to the drain punch regardless of being a mega slow bro gonna get off some damage on this gliscor get back a little bit of health it's gonna go right back away because <laughs> of the life orb and he gets his toxic orb not a big issue uh, I want to calc that really quickly just to see what he is um, gliscor because uh, I don't usually use sheer force so um, swords dance salt stall breaker let's say uh, drain punch would do 21 to 25 that's about what we did right yeah 24 percent okay so we can go into mama swine here uh gliscor is uh, gliscor plus slowbro is very hard for me to deal with guys uh i'm actually just gonna go into skarmory here and i'm gonna get up my rocks uh because his only defogger is right in front of me so i'm gonna go for rocks here as he chose to go for eq which is great he didn't even know if i had ice punch or not so uh, he chooses to go into slow bro. I'm assuming he's going to slack off here. Uh, what I'm going to do is go directly into my Rotom on him and then proceed to uh, Volt Switch. If he wants to go into Gliscor, that's perfectly fine. We can follow that up with a Hydro Pump. Uh, this Gliscor is specially defensive though, so he should be able to take, I think, two of those. We'll see though. Uh, he chooses to go directly into Gliscor actually, and I'm just going to fire off a Hydro Pump here. He could have Protect. Normally they don't run it though. They run Knock Off, Swords Dance, Roost. So, um, he's going to go back out into Ferrothorn here, and I'm just going to throw out a Will-O-Wisp on this thing. Uh, if he wants to get up his hazards, that's perfectly fine. Now my rocks are up, which is really, really going to help. Uh, I know we, we wasted time weakening the, the Slowbro because it's back up to full, but Conkeldur can still kill it. That's that's what's great, is that I, I didn't know that it would do actually that much. That was That's pretty crazy. Um, here I'm going to Volt Switch directly into Victini, and then I'm probably going to throw out a U-Turn, um, as he gets off a Leech Seed, which is fine. I'm just going to go for U-Turn and see if he has Protect, and, uh, if he does, then we'll switch out consequentially, probably back into Rotom, as his Ferrothorn is now burned. He chooses to stay in and let me take the, uh, Iron Barbs. I don't know what he's really going to go for here. Um, hmm. probably just going to go Mamoswine, I think. Is my play. This is like the one game that I wish Mamoswine wasn't scarfed. Because then we'd be able to throw out knockoffs, earthquakes, uh, icicle crashes, and the whole lot of them. So, um, just gonna go Conk here. He's probably not gonna double Leech Seed. Uh, he chooses to go for another layer of Spike, which is perfectly fine. And here, I'm going to. I don't really want to Drain Punch, because I don't gain anything from it. Um,. Well, actually, yeah, I do. I do actually gain back health now because the Sandstorm isn't up, so he can't really switch into anything. I mean, he can bring in his Gliscor, that's perfectly fine, but he's going to allow my Conkeldur to heal, so uh, he actually chooses to go slow, bro. And now he knows that he can't go for the uh, Calm Mind. He has to go for uh, for Psyshock if he wants to take me out, so... Uh, we're going to Thunder Punch this thing. It's going to bring it down to about 3%. He's going to Psy Shock here. It's not going to knock us out, and he is going to switch here, so I'm going to go for another Drain Punch yet again. And uh, now his Slowbro comes in at like 27, so uh, that's a lot easier to deal with. We are going to get off that Drain Punch. It's going to do 26. Not bad amount of damage. And uh, he can Earthquake right here. So what I'm going to do is go uh, Skarmory or Rotom here. Uh, well, his only Rotom switch is now weakened. It's at 50%. So, I'm actually going to switch this out immediately, because I want Conkeldur to die to the spikes uh, from Ferrothorn. So, I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump right here. I love his Ferrothorn being burned. It's amazing. It's the best thing that could have happened. Uh, I can't believe he let it get burned. But, I'm going to go for Volt Switch here, and I'm just going to let my Conkeldur go down. That way, Rotom just takes on the rest of his team, because his Slowbro is at 3%. Uh, I can Hydro Pump this, burn this, Volt Switch on this, Hydro Pump this... Uh, he, let's see what he does, I'm gonna go into Conk here, and I'm gonna let it go down to the spikes, and he is going to attempt to Leech Seed, and it's not gonna work out for him, and he's not gonna go down to Burn, uh, but that's perfectly fine, because now what I can do, I can actually get rid of the spikes here if I want to, uh, which opens up a door to Victini. Um, I'll at least be able to get rid of one layer here, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Defog, and I can get back up my rocks at any time, so it's not a, a problem. Uh, we're going to open up the door for Victini. He's going to go for Leech Seed. I don't think he's going to gain back enough here. Actually, he is. Uh, but we can knock him out with the Brave Bird, so 
Uh, not a big deal. And we'll, we'll do that. We'll let Skarmory get weakened a little bit more. As he actually chooses to go into Keldeo, so we're going to get off a big Brave Bird on that. And uh, take a lot of recoil, but his Keldeo is Leftovers, which is interesting. Um, I don't have a very good response to this. Uh, I don't really have a very good switch, I should say. Do I want to just get back up rocks? I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter because his Ferrothorn's at 6%, so I can't switch into a Volt Switch anyway. So... I think I'm just going to Brave Bird again. He's going to Scald. We are Spadef, but he crits us, so... Uh, we are going to go down to that, unfortunately. I do have Zen Headbutt on my Metagross. I just don't want his, uh... His Tyranitar coming in for free. Um... Let's see... I think Rotom's just the best play. All around. Uh, we are just going to Volt Switch here. Rotom just handles his team so well. Uh, as long as I don't let Slowbro get up uh, any uh, any call mines, I'm good. Uh, is Kelio is actually going to live that, which is a little unfortunate. But now I can go to Metagross, and I can just throw out a Bullet Punch. So And it should go down to Bullet Punch. It's very, very uh, bulky Keldeo right there. I'm uh, going to throw out that Bullet. It's going to go down. And now he's going to have to choose what he wants to go into. He chooses to go into Slowbro here. And that means I'm going directly into Rotom, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going directly into Rotom. And he is going to Mega Evolve this time, which is great. That means he's never going to get off the Regenerator again. And we are actually going to throw out a Willow, I think. Yeah, that's my best play. I'm just going to get this thing burned so that it can't do anything to me. Uh, he's actually going to choose to go Glitzcore, so good play on his part, I guess. Um, but his Slowbro is no longer recovering health, so we're just going to throw out a Hydro here. His uh, Ferrothorn can't switch into it anymore. And uh, here we go. Ferrothorn goes down. There we go. So that's that. And now we'll see what he wants to do. So he chooses to go Heatran. I'm actually just going to pause it real quick, guys. Just got to take care of something. Won't be long. All right, guys. And we are back. So, uh, so the thing here with the Heatran is that I don't want it trapping me. Uh, so what I actually want to do is maybe throw out a Pain Split. And get some of this thing's health back uh, on my side. Or do I just want to go directly into Victini on this thing? Hmm. Well, Victini can't do anything back, so that's not a play. Uh, do I want to Volt Switch here and a Mamoswine and then predict his Gliscor or his Slowbro? I'm just going to throw out a Volt. Uh, as we do see, we are faster than his Heatran, which means he's most likely not the Magma Storm set, which is great. And uh, I'm just going to go straight into Mamoswine here. Chooses to go for Toxic, which is awesome. And I'm just going to double probably back into Rotom here. Because uh, he can't take an Earthquake and he knows that. And we're going to gain some momentum from this. So in comes Rotom as he goes into Slowbro, which is awesome. And once again, we are just going to Volt Switch here. No reason not to. Uh, if he wants to stay in, then he's going to take a lot of damage. And I can follow it up with a U-turn from Victini. So, uh, or even a Fusion Bolt right here. Um, Fusion Bolt should be able to take it out. We are Bandit, of course. Is U-Turn able to take it out? Hold on a second. Slowbro. Slowbro. Defensive versus Victini. Choice Bandit. U-Turn is not able to take it out, but Bolt Strike is. So we'll go for Bolt Strike right here. He switches out into Gliscor, so good play on his part. And uh, honestly, I mean, if his toxic Pokemon is Heatran, then I can switch into his Gliscor with my uh, Rotom every time. So uh, he chooses to go for Swords Dance right there. Uh, we are just going to fire off a Hydro Pump. He can knock me off, but it's not going to do anything. Uh, well, he actually has Facade, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, we are going to throw out the Hydro Pump, though, and we are going to get rid of the Gliscor, which is awesome, because now I can just throw out Earthquakes. His T-Tar decides to come in. And... Um, Let's see, what do I want to do here? He's probably just going to Pursuit, right? I'm just going to Pain Split in case he does Pursuit. Uh, he crunches, so that's fine. And like I said, we can just throw out Earthquakes now. And um, Choice Scarf, we, are we able to take out... There's no way we're able to take out uh, Slowbro, right? Uh, let's see, Mamoswine, Life Orb Attacker, but without the Life Orb, please. Jolly Earthquake does. <laughs> that's pathetic. Okay. Um, hmm. And how much does knockoff do? Nothing as well. So, hmm. how do I win this game? I mean, it's pretty much Mamoswine at this point. It's Mamoswine against the world. So, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go Metagross here, I think. 
Yeah, I'm going to go Metagross. And I'm going to throw out a Meteor Mash. And the reason I'm doing this is I don't want Mamoswine to take... Uh, well, for one, the hit from uh, Tyran Tyranitar, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't go down in one hit. I also do not want it taking uh, Sand plus Poison. So, I'm just going to go Victini here. I think is my best play. Um, maybe staying in with Metagross was. I, wish, I really wish I had Hammer Arm there, but uh, we are going to be able to... I need Victini, though. Hold on a second. I definitely need Victini to be able to take out the Slowbro, so... Uh, I'm going to U-turn here. And we're going to go into Metagross again. Uh, we're going to let him burn us. That's fine. And I'm just going to go for Zen Headbutt here. That's perfectly okay. Uh, his Slowbro can't take two Earthquakes, though. So that's what's good. That means his Heatran is definitely going down. Uh, he actually chooses to go directly into Slowbro here. Uh, which is a very good play, actually. Because now I can't really uh, touch him. And uh, I guess he knew that I wouldn't go down to burn there. Uh, Got to switch directly into Victini as much as I don't want to. And uh, I think I just have to go for a U-turn here. Yeah, I just have to go for a U-turn. I mean, he might uh, he's probably going to switch out into Tyranitar. But now I can't two-hit KO him with Earthquake, which is the problem. Um, he goes into Heatran, so that's a free Earthquake. And, uh, I mean, I think we need to crit the Slowbro. There's no other way. Uh, he chooses to go directly into it. That's going to do absolutely nothing, 22%. And uh, now we're going to have to sack Metagross. I think we lose this game, unfortunately. Probably shouldn't have dragged it on uh, as long as it went. But going to go Victini here. Just going to throw out a Fusion Bolt. I mean, it should still do a lot to Heatran if it's specially defensive. So as we're going to see, it's going to do 39%. And if he doesn't have Earth Power, he won't be able to knock me out. So just going to go for Fusion Bolt again. And that's going to do 35%. He's going to get up his Rocks, which is going to prevent my Victini from coming back in for free now. Uh, and he can just throw out a fire move here, so... Um, let's see what he wants to do. I mean, this game is pretty much over, but... I'm just going to throw out another Fusion Bolt. If he is Scarf Tar, then he'll be able to Pursue Trap me. Uh, which is what I'm assuming he is. It's a very nice team. He uh, surrounded Mega Slowbro very well. We weakened it early on. I really wish we would have taken it out with Thunder Punch, or at least paralyzed it to keep it from spamming things like Calm Mind and then Slack Off, but... Uh, gonna have to... I think I just have to go directly into Mamoswine and really hope I can take a hit. Uh, or he misses and he chokes and goes for Stone Edge and misses. Something like that. Uh, he's going to go for Crunch. That's not going to knock us out. And neither is the Poison. And we are going to go for EQ here. Um, he is going to switch out into a Slowbro. And uh, at this point, I just have to go for U-Turn. And I have no other plays. So that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Unfortunately, we lose that one. But I'm pretty confident that I can get into, uh, especially after using a team like this, I'm pretty confident that I can get into top 10 in OU. So I'm going to be trying to do that probably on the side. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry about the uh, the last game lost, but uh, that's usually our record is 2-1 and one every episode. So it's, it's coming, becoming a trend. And uh, if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions whatsoever. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Have a good one. Ciao.